Hello, I'm Caddy Brain. I'm from Wikimedia Australia, which is the Australian chapter of the International Wikimedia Foundation. And we're here to help people like you contribute to Wikipedia and other Wikimedia platforms. I want to begin today by acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, the land upon which we're filming today, elders past and present, and acknowledge them as the first knowledge holders of this place and their unbroken connection to country, sky, to water and to land. Over the coming chapters, I will take you through the process of editing and creating a Wikipedia page so that you can be part of the broader movement that's looking to improve the visibility of women and underrepresented people to make the internet a more equitable place. This tutorial is structured in 10 chapters, so you can skip back to any section at any time. Let's get started. So what is Wikipedia? Well, Wikipedia is one of the greatest crowdsource movements in the world. Where once we used to rely on printed encyclopedias like Britannica, the internet has fundamentally changed the way we access information now. Started in 2001, Wikipedia is now 20 years old and it's become one of the first go-to places when we want to find some basic information about anything. So anyone can add or edit Wikipedia from anywhere, so long as you have an internet connection and access to a device of some kind. And to give you a sense of that constant activity, this visualisation shows Wikipedia as it's being edited right now. These are the different articles, also called pages, that people are working on. Every now and then you might see a new page that has been created or even a new user that has signed up to edit. This gives you a sense of the constant editing that is going on on Wikipedia, every minute of every day. But the movement is actually far bigger than just Wikipedia. There's Wikimedia Commons, which is a huge image library, and there's Wikidata, which is an enormous database that underpins all Wikimedia platforms, of which there's many others as well. But underpinning all of it is the idea of freely sharing the sum of all knowledge. See you in the next chapter.